So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my project pan intro for 2024. If you don't know what a project pan is, it's basically a makeup project where you go through your collection and you set goals of using up makeup products completely, hitting pan which is seeing like the silver usually metal pan at the bottom of the product or like a usage goal. So. For me, I usually try to hit pan or use up my items completely, and this is a 100% makeup project pan. And a quick channel update slash life update. I did get COVID, that is why this video is out late, sorry. Usually I upload on Tuesdays, but I think this year I'm going to take it a little bit more easy on myself and allow myself to update anytime within the week. But usually Tuesdays. So I'm just going to get started with my products and I have a lot of blushes this year and there's some changes I'm making this year. Also I'm on a no buy so hopefully I see more <laughs> hopefully I see more progress on these products because I am not buying any makeup. Like it's the strictest no buy that you could be on. There's no like exception categories, there's no if I use up a category completely uh, I can replace it which is not likely to happen anyways, but yeah, there's none of that. It's just, once it's gone, it's gone until next year. I'm going to get started with some exciting products first, starting with my NARS blush in the shade Deep Throat. This has been in my Project Pan series for like two years, but I am so determined to use it up this year because like, ain't no way I'm not. So this is my progress on it. Yep. I'm wearing it today, although there is a little bit of the other blush on my cheek as well. And I'm excited to use this up this year because it's, like as you can see, the lid just fell off over a year ago. So it's time to work this out of my collection, plus I have another one, like a backup of this. Another exciting blush that has also been in my Project Pan for a few seasons, if you know what I mean, is my Hourglass ambient lighting edit sculpture palette but I'm only working on the shade mood exposure which is the last product in here so this is my current progress on it I do have some side pan right here I'm holding the palette upside down so that the mirror doesn't like blind you all and it's easier to hold last year when I rolled this in it was like it looked brand new like I barely touched it but now you can kind of see that it's like a bit more flat so I also want to use this one up completely. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to hit pan on. <laughs> not hit pan on, I've already done that. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this one by the end of the year because this is such a wild card. Like I had been using it for a whole year and not seen that much progress on it. And then only last year, I started seeing more progress on it. And the changes I'm making this year are, I am trying to work through my stash. So I usually purchase items as backups, not items to use right away to play with. I don't know why I'm like this because I'm like, oh, I bought this new shiny thing. It's like limited edition, brand new. And then I'll be like, okay, I'm going to put it away. And in two years when I'm done with my other thing I was panning, I'm going to pull it out. And it's not even exciting at that point. So I put a brand new blush in. This is NARS Dolce Vita. I don't really have a goal on this. I just want to use it. It would be nice to see pan, but it's probably not feasible. So yeah, it was brand new until yesterday. I used it for the first time. Fun fact, I tried filming this yesterday, but then I looked like a potato with three chins. And I had, I was experimenting with makeup looks and it did not go out, like it did not turn out well. So I decided to scrap it and refilm again today. So more hourglass things, even though the last thing was NARS, I want to work on two hourglass powders. The first one is Ambient. This is the Lighting Infinity Powder. There's only one shade. It's supposed to be like a mix between the, it's a blend between three powders I believe, which includes a highlighter and two finishing powders, something like that. This is what mine looks like. It's pretty new. I think I've used this about 10 times at this point. I really wanted to use this product. Like I saw this in one of the Hourglass 
palettes, but I was not able to buy it that year because I was like, I'm still working on my other Hourglass Holiday palette, so it kind of felt wrong <laughs> to buy a new one while I was still struggling to finish, like, pan the Hourglass Sculpture palette. So I just purchased this product on its own instead, and I think it sat in my collection unused for basically a year. So now I'm using it. I have like a dupe for this that I hit pan on last year, so why not hit pan on the original this year? And then my other Hourglass powder is my Hourglass Ambient Strobe Light Powder in Euphoric Strobe Light. I love Hourglass powders. They are the best, in my opinion. If you like a beaming highlighter, this ain't it. This is more subtle. You can't... Like, it's more of a soft sheen. It blends into your unhighlighted skin way better than, you know, if you were to use a highlighter that is, like, beaming from outer space. Like, it looks more natural. Like, it's hitting... Like, there's light hitting the high points of your cheeks, but it's actually highlighter. I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing the other powder today as well. I don't know how well it looks on camera, but we'll see after because I don't have my glasses on. Moving on to my BB cream. I feel like a lot of these are similar to what I put in last year, but I just want these out of my collection. This is my Misha... Oh, wait. My goals on both Hourglass powders is to hit pan on them. And I think after I hit pan on the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder, I'm going to roll it out and continue using the dupe that I had talked about earlier. Okay, back to this. I'm rolling in the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in the shade number 25. I don't like foundation that much. This is a BB cream, like, potato potato. It's basically, like, tinted moisturizers, tinted sunscreen... BB cream, foundation, they're all the same to me, like the way you apply it. But this is actually a pretty decent product in my opinion. I just don't like foundation because I get tan very quickly and then I get pale very quickly. And also I find that foundation does not stay looking good on my skin personally for more than like <laughs> two hours for most foundations. And this one is an exception. It stays on for like four hours. But after that, it becomes very cakey and not pilly, but like patchy. There we go. I've been looking for that word since yesterday. I cannot wear this to work because like I said, it becomes patchy within four hours. So usually, I don't even like filming with this on because it makes my skin look so... It just doesn't look good on camera, but it looks good in person. Well, at least I think so. So I usually only use this when I do cosplay because then I just remove all my makeup after a few hours anyways. So I don't need it to last all day but yeah i want to roll this out and then no more foundation i am done with foundation forever the only reason or yeah the only way i think i'll get foundation in the future is through those like blister packs or if someone declutters me a foundation or concealer okay moving on to a somewhat boring product i'm actually wearing this today this is the Too faced killer liner in the shade killer camo it's an eyeliner it's <laughs> It does not really show up, so I don't n really know how I'm going to wear this product other than like through cosplay and stuff like that. I guess I could use it as like a green eyeshadow base because I do have a green eyeshadow in my Panda's eyeshadows, which is a spoiler. And yeah, so that's like the only reason or way I can really think of wearing this. It doesn't show up as easily as the one I panned last year, which was... Killer Storm, it was a darker gray, so this is a bit light. I don't even know if you can tell I'm wearing an eyeliner today, but I tried. So I want to get this out of my collection, pan it completely, because it is getting up there in age, and the green is not as good as the gray. So I'm going to pan this. And then I have three lip products, so that'll be the last three items. But I have this lipstick from... A collaboration a long time ago. This is from Urban Decay and it was their collaboration with Marvel Eternals aka the movie that flopped before this most recent one. But the reason why I purchased this was because it got a perfect 10 out of 10 from Temptalia's website which I thought was cool. And this is my current progress on it. Yeah, I barely used it. And this is how much I have left. I'm going to mark this 
But there's not too much progress, or er, there's not too much product left in here. There's also not too much progress. I feel like it's customary for me to work on a red in my project pans because I just have a red lipstick in my collection at all times. At least one. And this is a more bluey red, which I like. So I don't really like the orangey red, although I think I have one in my collection. But blue reds. I like more the more and then moving on to two lip products I or these two lip glosses I have so much lip glosses it is my preference for lip product not lipstick it's lip gloss the first one is from bare minerals it is their mineralist lip gloss balm in the shade enlightenment I don't think you can tell I can't even tell oh it's right here uh okay so the the amount of product I have is like right here so I still have quite a ways to go it's still above the word bare minerals which I don't even know if you can see on camera because I can barely see it and I'm like holding it up to my face I used this last week before I realized I had COVID and I used it the day I found out I had COVID so I'm putting it in this project pan, but I'm probably not going to use it for another few weeks just for safety reasons. But I'm going to roll it into this project pan because it is the perfect time of year to be using this product. And I go through lip gloss so fast compared to other lip products. They're just more comfortable to wear. The next product I'm actually wearing on my lips today is from Tower 28. It is their Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. It's it smells a little bit coconutty, which is not my favorite, but I really like the color and I shook it so now I can't see where it's settled. Aw, uh, crap. But I think it's right above the T in Tower. Let me just flip it. It's somewhere above the T. I have used enough product for you to see the settled lines when it settles. If only I didn't shake it and knock it over. But my goal is to use it up completely. I have like at least two more shades that are like this, so I just want to get at least one of them out of my collection. And like I said, I go through lip glosses faster than any other product because I find them more comfortable and it is my favorite formula. So that's everything. That should be 10 products. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in a month for the update. Bye!